Now, where are you gonna- <laughs> Look at them just running on him! Okay, so that- that completely confirms what I was thinking, and that is... I don't think they can spot my teammates. At least not when they're on follow mode, because that would be, uh, that'd be frustrating. Okay, the good news is the their health values didn't scale up. So that makes me pretty happy. I can actually legitimately kill the hunter in one turn now. At least, you know, with combined arms. You know, I realize if these guys are against the robots, could I have brought the robots over here? That's an interesting idea. Not particularly one I'm interested in trying to perform, though, because, uh, I'm not exactly that well off in health. <laughs> yeah! And stay down! That was awesome. Okay, I actually might need to go fight the robots now, because as long as I'm doing, like, killing enemies, I'm recharging abilities. So I have to be tactical with my usage. So I need to use the abilities I currently have off cooldown, put them on cooldown, then kill enemies. So we'll wait till these bots are split up, and then we'll try and deal with the, the first police bot. Or at least the lower health police spot, the 16 health one. Because I can just stun him. Or at least I can try. I fly to here, I can guarantee so much. Wait, do I have a 100% crit chance? Just because I'm in the air? Oh my god, critical bonus 20%, alpinist high ground 50%. Oh my god, that's amazing. So I don't have to use moth wings and skull splitter anymore. That's nice. Too bad I'm not, you know, worried about that. Oh, but we're out of range. We don't have a guaranteed shot. Oh, thank God. Come on. This is fine. This is fine. That's the whole point of me stunning these targets. I can't kill them in one turn. A lot of the times. Hey, follow me. I think she can actually level up her ability now, so we can get frog legs. Which currently is a meh ability for her, to be honest. But once I get Alpinist, these two will combine very nicely. Although I guess I then have to choose whether or not to do Twitch Shot or Alpinist. And that's a toughie. I'm, it's gonna depend on the weapons we get, and considering that it costs so much to use, we're gonna have time. <laughs> we're gonna have plenty of time to find out exactly what we want to use with her. Oh, did I ever swap her? Okay, yeah, I did swap out her ability. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to... 
hog rush this guy. And then just blast him in the face over and over again. Simple idea. And yet so risky in execution. We need some big damage here, so I'm gonna swap and do my twitch shot. Donut. Nice, two hits. It doesn't seem like the other enemy heard it. So if they're like oh like off screen for the most part, they can't hear even loud shots. I hope this doesn't blow up. Okay, nice. Hey, follow me. <sighs> okay, the robots are down. We've recovered a little bit of some of our abilities. If we kill the guy on the rooftop, we'll have all of our abilities back, at least for ducks. Let me quickly do a scan around this area with a flashlight out so that way I actually highlight shit. Ooh, look at that broken gun. <laughs> I am in desperate need for every little tiny scrap I can get. If I can give the devs compliments on that, well, yeah. I definitely feel a scarcity in uh, weapon parts and scrap for me to use. I also feel a little worried about general areas in terms of how many high ground areas there are for us to use but we'll deal with that later I don't even have that many guns that can take advantage of high ground advantages yet okay get on over here Now this is actually a little sketchy. Because we have a shaman directly below this dude and uh... <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't hear us. Today, dick wife. Hi there. I'm so glad they don't make these guys hear the death of their teammates. <gasps> no, 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 I wanted to shoot with a different weapon. I refuse <laughs> to accidentally fire a loud as hell gun. If I'd done it on purpose, I wouldn't revert. But that is on me for not... For not trying to swap my weapons back. That's really kind of the first time we ever had that issue. It crossed my mind, not only... Like, literally just a few minutes ago, I was like, I wonder if I should sw swap weapons again when we get into combat, but... I was just in a rush there. Okay, this should be free, simple, with absolutely no worries. Come on, Mormon, I need you to be closer. There. Alright, free kill, let's go. Now, one potential problem, minus shooting a shotgun into someone's face while trying to stealth, is I don't know what would happen if I accidentally knocked somebody off a rooftop into all of his friends, and he lived. I think I'd just be screwed at that point. Oh, 
Ugh. Bullseye. Okay. I knew you were grog. That was amazing. I just wish that. Oh shit, there's a tank. Well, we're gonna have to charge attack him. Anyways, I wish we had Get your asses over here. A couple of options. Oh, I also wish I could just grab this dude's gun. Ooh, scrap. I hope I don't end up getting caught by this guy, although I guess we should be able to get plenty of shots off on him right about here. So glad we got our damage upgrade for Selma. Oh gosh. <laughs> we knocked him back into cover. That could have been much worse. Alright, are you guys gonna talk to each other and split? Because that'd be awesome, especially since this is technically our first tank encounter. Cold box. An electrically powered cold box. Keeps things cold. Probably a good place to preserve the heads of your victims. Err, I mean enemies. Chronicler Hippocantus. Well, I'm glad to have that. If we get one more, I can get my... my damage buff. I saw that there are 12 artifacts, but I'm wondering if that's only 12 artifacts that we can currently find, or if that's 12 artifacts for the entire game, because I just got a 50% something achievement. You coming? <laughs> okay. This is gonna be the biggest test. Can I stealth kill a guy? Like two tiles away from his his friend. His friend didn't hear it. His friend didn't hear it. Bullseye. You're kidding me. I think he actually legitimately hurt me. I think I walked into his, uh, his damage radius. Oh, this is gonna hurt! Ah! Oh! oh! What a loser. That's fair. Damn it. I might have... Oh. I don't know what he heard. That's my problem. I want to see what happens. I, I want to see what happens if I reposition that. I'm also gonna say it because I, I want to actually continue like this particular run, but I have to find out. Did he hear me because of the range that I was at or because his friend died two feet away from him? <laughs> These are important questions. Because I had her, like, slightly forward. Alright. Now, it would make absolute sense. Yeah, okay. It, I think, I think you just, you can, they actually hear... Uh, when their friends get knocked out. Or killed next to them. 
Which makes sense. Glad we've got that confirmed. Let's go back to trying to salvage the, situ the situation. So, first off... First off, I'm going to revive our buddies from my kit. That's a one action use. And then we're going to hog rush this guy because fuck him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So, uh, how's it going, big man? Not even a point. All right. We're going to get shot in the face. I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Ow. That's fine. So you can't, you can't cards a big dude, which I didn't know. Now I do. I think I missed one shot. That's fine. Yep. <laughs> it took a while for it to realize that, though. Now, I could move my people in a cover. That'd be the smart idea. It would reduce the amount of terribleness. That's about to occur to our faces. But I'm committed. Oh. I need armor piercing, by the way, because this is ridiculous. Now it's getting fun. Three armor, and I can't, like, I can't remove it or anything. All right, pal. You're gonna have to kill two of us in one turn. Okay. Well, that's just me. <laughs> Why did he run into the? <laughs> he ran into a wall. Nighty night. Don't mess with us. That is so bizarre. Over here. Also, ducks is totally stuck right now. But oh well. Pipe gun. Hey, a free pipe gun! Coupled together from from various metal parts and pipes, this crude gun offers decent capacity and reasonable accuracy. Man, off front, but fine. It is an option for us to have. And now that we did that, Dux is no longer stuck. Good for him. So we've learned a lot of things from this mission. <laughs> a lot of things. Uh, I can't knock out tank enemies, or at least the enemies just referred to as tanks. And I gotta be careful whenever we actually shoot a loud weapon, because it's not gonna swap back in the next combat encounter, which... kinda sucks. <laughs> it's, I mean, I've got a primary and secondary weapon set up for a reason, so I always start with my silent weapon. So it's just weird that, uh, oh, you fought, you got, you went loud once? Guess you want to be loud all the time. Oh, shit. Why are there level 45 dogs here? That's terrifying. While I'm here, I might as well set back my skull splitter.
and then see what we can manage. Okay, so they're level 45, but they only have 26 health each. And the question is, can I do 26 damage at a reasonable pace? Oh no. I don't think I can, honestly. Because even with all crits, with a 9 damage crit, 7 damage crit, and a 6 damage crit, obviously that doesn't equal 26. I would need to be able to stun him for a turn, and then I could- then- then we could be good. With that said, we don't always have to go quiet. Hello, Magnus. Oh shit. Yee. <laughs> I gotta make sure I equip the things on him. Okay, we need to do as much damage as possible in as short as time as possible. If I do a normal grenade, that's eight damage that we can throw down on two of them. So I'm gonna go for that. I could also try burning them, but we're... Just gonna go for this. Man, I can do a lot. <laughs> Grenades! Grenades can save me! Got an enemy 20 levels higher than you? Just blow him up! Puppeteer. Unit is immune. Well, that's really awkward. They're probably gonna call for reinforcements. Oh, Jesus. Five damage a bite. <laughs> so I realized that I probably should have saved my twitch shot because uh, bad things are about to happen. But we'll manage. So first off, I'm gonna revive no Selma. To die. We have to keep fighting. Thank you. And then we need to kill two of these targets on this turn. Hold on now, hold on now. Selma could shoot the zone dog with two health. And then, Bormer Magnus can deal with the zone dog with 10 health. If we get a lucky crit, then I can just shoot the other guy. Come on, lucky crit! One. No lucky crit, that's fine. We're gonna use stone skin just in case. Oh, 
No, though, to be honest, they should just bite my friend. <gasps> oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, it bit us instead. That is crazy. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk out of its bite range. And then run a gun to shoot it. Wait, does my pistol do as much damage as my gaper? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, Magnus. We're gonna reload and shoot, because there's no reason for you to move just yet. Knock. And we should be able to kill it in the next turn. Oh no, the dog can't do anything! You know what, Selma? It bit you. It knocked you out. Well, the other one did, but still. You have the most to earn from this. <sighs> hey, considering that those guys were 20 levels higher than us, that was well worth one met kit. Unless this weapon ends up sucking. Slinger, ancient firearms battery, but can uh, can usually hit targets from a fair distance. Its original purpose was probably for hunting grub. It's got seven base damage and a 15% base critical chance. Ooh. This might be what we're looking for. 20 range, yes. See, what I need is a sniper. Something I can engage at range with in situations where the enemies need to come to me. And we haven't really had that because all the weapons I've had have basically just been like around the same damage as my pistols, which sucks. <laughs> But that one seems like it has a good chance of, of being what we need. I just have to slap on the proper mods and we're good to go. I think that's really all there is to find. We walked past this area when we came in. But it doesn't feel like we have everything I'm looking for. Also, with that said, I should probably swap my party members back. Hold on. Whoops, no. Selma goes in the right slot, Ducks goes on the left slot. That's how I've that's how I've associated the, the UI. Alright, I think that's probably everything. As disappointing as that might be. Oh wait. There was some robot scrap left over. I don't think a scrap is going to make much of a difference for me, but oh well. Ooh, but there's also still a little bit more beyond that. See, they said something about a hidden stash. And while the ghouls might have looted the place and therefore there is no hidden stash, there's a chance. Of course, they think that the sign is for Iza and Fala, rather than Falafel and Pizza. So there's probably not too much merit to that rumor. Ah! Oh, hello. Some more scrap just behind us in the area we hadn't really looked at. Okay. That is pretty much it because I'm pretty sure I looked over here, but just in case. We can look again. You never know. Sometimes you have to flip over a rock 15 times to see what's truly underneath it. Because if you're paying too much attention to the flipping of the rock, rather than actually looking underneath it, well... You can miss out on quite a lot. Anyways, we're done here. I wish there would be like an X once I've looted everything. Okay, so we found 6 out of 12 artifacts. I thought we had found 9 out of 12? But I had just gotten the numbers mixed up. 